Hello everyone, Enrique here for The Machine Must Work. Today we're gonna take a quick look on what's new in Clips Exporter in this latest release. So let's jump right in. All the new features in this release are relating to the file name here. First thing, if you have a variable or a custom text that you created, you can now alt-click to remove any of those. If you have a custom text that you created and you want to edit it, just double click on it and it gets loaded so you can change it. Another thing we've added here is that if you have the drop down open and you start typing the variable you want, you can narrow down those options and easily find the ones you want to use. Which brings us to the four new variables we added in this release. The first one being this one right here, sequence FPS which gives you the frames per second of the sequence you are rendering from. If we put a separator here, let's check which ones are new as well. We have down here, clip start, which are three different variables. We have clip start frames, which gives you the frame count at which point the clip is starting in the sequence. Clip start time code, it's the same, but it gives you a time code. And the fourth variable we added, it's this time code number, which gives you the time code number at the clip start, but it will not give you any separators in between the numbers. How about we quickly export all of them here so we can have a look on what we're talking about. So we have frames, we have time code, you see I can already narrow down those options. And now if we go time code again, we can go with time code number. Let's select a Clip down here, hit render. Now if we go to the project folder here, let's zoom in. We can see this is the clip that I just exported. I have here the sequence frames per second, which was 30 in that case. Then I have the frame count, so this clip starts at 1198 frames. I then have the time codes, this one with the separator, so this is the time code option, and this one is the time code number option, which does not put any separators in between the numbers. If we go back into the project quickly here, let's jump out. This is the clip that we just rendered, and we can see here that it started at 39.28. And if we get the frame count, it starts at 11.98. So if we go back there, just to double check, there is 3928, 3928, and 1198. Let's go back. This was a quick look on this new version of Clips Exporter. We hope you enjoy it. Let us know in the comments. And if you didn't get it yet, go to aescripts.com and get it there. Thanks for watching.